Well, I'm Representative Mitch Berlinski. I represent the 106th district, which includes the towns of Newtown and Sandy Hook. Um, I intend to be brief today out of consideration of the many members of the public whose stories absolutely must be heard today and tomorrow and the after day. Um, my more detailed testimony will be submitted online. The reason for testifying today is to say once again that I have deep, deep underlying concerns about Eversource's ability to serve its ratepayers with the same care with which it serves its shareholders. The response that we saw during Tropical Storm Isaias, um was deplorable. We here in Western Connecticut sat and sat and, and sat for three full days before we even saw our first truck. And I'm not certain when they thought they were coming, but it took phone calls from our first selectman, Dan Rosenthal, and me to have Governor Lamont personally you know, intervene and send a thousand crews to Western Connecticut to take care of the surrounding towns, not just my own town. Um, and I'm grateful then, and I'm still grateful to the governor for, for taking that action because um, we were really in the dark, just like the attorney general said. Um, and in the dark was so much more than just having a blackout because we had no information from these people at Eversource. And the information that was being fed through our emergency services department here in Newtown, um, none of it was, was actually correct. Um, so while we thought they were gonna be working on certain things and high priority areas that our town was aware of, they showed up in different places when they did show up. So um, complete and utter breakdown of the response communication and I still remain to this day uh, flabbergasted by the management of Eversource and their indifference to the fact that people were out here in the dark suffering. Um, you know, I called for in the past the resignation or at least the very close examination of their CEO who, who went into a bunker called the war room and was, was not heard from until after the lights came back on. Uh, and that concerns me because that speaks an awful lot about their, their orientation and the fact that the folks that are out here in the dark um, were not top of mind. And, you know, that just disturbs me on every single level. So while 82% of Newtown was sitting in the dark, we waited three days before we saw our first truck. And then for three weeks after we had our lights on, uh, by the way, I was out for eight days um, and many people in Newtown were out nine or 10, but um, for three weeks after our lights came back on, there were still trees that had been reported laying on power lines, waiting to snap and turn the lights off again. The response before, preparation before, the response during, um, and the follow-up after, uh, totally, totally, totally out of line. And um, I'm calling on Pura to step up its game as well, because your ability to approach regulating this monopoly in a way that makes them accountable, I don't know if we can make them care but they have to be accountable if we're going to entrust them with a monopoly of electrical supply um, to our homes. Um, and corporately, I also have concerns about the fact that um, the Eversource people are, they're, they're in the process of buying up our water too. So, you know, when they control our water and they control our, our power, if they don't give a crap, where does that leave the rest of us? So, I thank you for the opportunity to express uh, my concerns, my community's concerns, um, and uh, to all the members of Pura, um, we're really counting on you to step up too. Thank you.